welcome back to Spring Into Nature and we thought we'd start this week by looking at how well our plants are all growing. If you remember in the last one we just sowed all these seeds. So what's here Oscar? Salad. Our salad leaves and what about these big ones? Sunflowers. There's our sunflowers and this one says it's basil and we have some coriander and some sage growing and then some of them you'll notice just don't grow at all and so that sometimes happens and um, but we're still looking after them and keeping them inside and very soon these sunflowers we're going to put into separate pots so they've got lots of space for their roots to grow now this week what we'd like to talk about is uh, the kinds of things that you might find on your walks for those of us who get to go for a walk every day and we're going to look at some plants and some flowers and some trees and we're going to do them in english and Welsh and Welsh in Cymraeg as well because Oscar speaks Cymraeg so he's going to help us with that isn't that right great I hope you enjoy looking at our walk when we go for a walk we want all of our senses to come alive our eyes and our ears our nose our hands to touch and feel things and maybe even our mouths to taste some things we get to walk quickly and we get to slow down and have a break and really tune in to see what's around us. Daisy, Lugget Idee. Dandelion, Dante Lau. Gorse, Ethan. Nettles, Danadal Poithion. New leaves, dial newid. Primrose, briathi. Reeds, course. River Ogmore, Avon Ogor. So some of the trees have no leaves and some trees have loads of green leaves. Does anybody know why that is? Oh look, it's a butterfly. Whoa, gorgeous. There's a tree there. Where? Here, all this stuff here, like, what's all this? That. Yeah, there's two different things. What's the green stuff and this stuff? What's this stuff here? Do you know what that's called? Moss. And do you know what this one's called? Lichen. And what about this brown part of the tree? Do you know what that's called? Dog. What's it called? Dog. No, Guion, stop tricking him. It's called the bark. The yeah, bark of the tree. Bark. And it protects the tree. Oh, Isn't that right, Guion? We often collect things when we're out and about on our walks, like sticks or stones, or sometimes even flowers. What do you like to collect on your walks? Sometimes, if we're really lucky, we even manage to meet a little friend, perhaps a little creature on the way. And on this walk, Oscar met a little ladybird and he very carefully picked the ladybird up and carried it a little way on the walk, holding it as gently as he could. We always remember to make sure we leave the creature behind somewhere safe, somewhere near their home, before we leave. So when you get back from your walk, or on a rainy day like today, when you don't want to go outside, it's a bit rainy today, isn't it, Os? Um, there are lots of things you can do to have a think about all the things you've seen on your walk. So we've got a couple of little projects we're doing today. One of them is um, Oscar and I have chosen our favourite things from our walk. So what did you choose, Oscar? A butterfly. So we found a picture of a butterfly, a nice outline picture is what you want to look for. And I found a daisy and actually a daisy because I've just learned the Welsh word for, for it. Plugged idydd eyes of the day and I love that so that's going to be my picture 
Um, so we've printed those out and then we've got some of this, which is um, overhead projector film that you can buy in, in, in lots of paper shops or you can order it online. And what we're going to do with that is um, put it over our picture and we're going to use a Sharpie pen to trace around our picture. And then over the top of that, we're going to put some acrylic paints on. Um, and then when it dries in, we'll be able to hang it in the window, a bit like a piece of stained glass. Yeah. So that's our first project. And then our second project is, what are you doing over here, Oscar? Cutting this squares off. And what are you going to put on all those squares? I don't know. Some pictures of the things we saw on the walk? Mm, yeah. So we we found this great template, which I'll put on the link. And, and we're going to make some big pictures like this and we're also going to make some little books. So we look forward to showing you what we come up with. So the first thing you need to do is to trace the outline of the shape with a black Sharpie pen and then add colour using acrylic paint. And when it's dried, hang it in your window. You could create a wall display writing all the words of the things that you've seen or even a mini book like this using the boxes template cut into strips, then stuck together with some card or foam on the outside as a cover. Why not choose your favourite thing that you saw on your walk to draw or paint a picture of it? Oscar's chosen his ladybird friend. If you can't get out, you could always copy an image from the internet and when it's finished, you could share it with others, take a photo and send it to your friends and family or to us. You could even create your own art gallery in your window. Of course, you could also add your own artwork to paths outside using chalk, which washes away easily. Well, thanks everyone for listening and I hope um, you have some ideas now of things that you might like to do when you find things on your walk that you're interested in. Um, and if you'd like to send us a photo of things that you're making, we'd love to see that, or things on your walk, you could just pop them in the comments thread at the end. And that's all for this week. Bye. Bye. Real bar. <laughs>